Hey, I'm making you this quick video going over some clinic website examples. Now, these that I'm going to show you have a lot of great features that I think will be really beneficial to you guys. Uh, and keep in mind, these are default templates, so they already have some default pictures and text. So basically, picture all your information in the place of this. And also keep in mind, these that I'm going to show you, everything can be changed. The background, the color, the text, the pictures, everything can be changed. So basically, I'm just showing you the layouts and the features. I'm going to show you two examples. This is the first one. This one has a lot of great features. When they first go to your home page, you can see your address, uh, phone number, of course, your name, and a place for a little logo. And they can see your opening hours right here, a place for a photo slideshow and some text. Now, here's a really great feature, make an appointment button. Now, when they click that, it'll take them to the contact page of your site, which I'll go over in a minute. They scroll farther down. There's a place for services. You can list a few of your services. And there's a link here that'll take them to your services page. And right here, latest clinic news. So you guys can put uh, some brief text about the latest news about your business, etc. And this will also link to a different part on your site which I'll show you in a minute. So this is another really great feature right here. Uh, download our registration forms. So for your new patients, if you want them to fill out some forms prior to coming in, they can click here. Uh, it'll pop up the form. They can print it out and fill it out and bring it in and stuff like that. So whatever forms you guys want them to fill out prior to coming in, this is a great way to do it. There's also a patient portal. And what this is, is this links to an external website. I don't know if you guys have anything like this where patients can log in and track their prescriptions and that sort of thing. Uh, if you guys don't have anything like that, I can link this to something else on the site and just change the name. No big deal. There's Google Maps showing everybody your location. Right here at the bottom, this box right here at the bottom showing the name, website, social media, and another make an appointment button. This will be featured at the bottom of every page on the website. So you can see it right there. So that's the home page. There's a lot of really great features right here. So the next tab is the practice. This is kind of like the about us section. So there's some photos. Put a little brief description of your business. And down here this is kind of like meet our staff type thing. You can put uh, some pictures of your staff and a little bit of text telling about them. So that's a really neat feature. Right here, this is where it'll link to your latest clinic news. So you can put some info here about uh, the latest info on your business. You can also post this in your blog, which I'll show you in a minute. Insurance tab. So right here, you can show what all major insurance plans you guys accept. There's some text right here for people to be able to call you. You have your number. Here's another place where people can download forms, especially new patients and that sort of thing. And you can just put additional information right here about your insurance plans, etc. Now this is your services page. That link on the home page that will link to your services. Now here's room to put a lot more services. Here's a place to put some useful links for your clients or if you guys have any websites you want them to check out, this is a good place to put it. Here's another button for the patient portal. Now here's the blog page. Now this is a standard blog format and of course there's already some default pictures and text on here. But basically this is the layout it shows like the first three or four posts. Uh, you can feature posts, so you can highlight them uh, to show up here. It shows your most recent post. There's also an archive, so if people want to go back a few months to see what you posted, they can do that. People can also search by tags. And uh, as we get into this farther, I'll show you how to do that. It's super easy. It's really easy to post on this blog. There's nothing to it. So I'm going to open one up so you can see it. Of course, there's a place for a title and some text. You can add pictures and video into this. And another great feature 
is at the bottom of every post there's a Facebook comment box so people logged into their Facebooks can comment you can reply to them they can also share each individual post on Facebook Pinterest Google Plus Twitter whatever other social media you might want here so those are some really great features for the blog and then finally the contact page so this is the link where uh, people can make an appointment so we've got your number hours and right here I can customize this contact box so basically people can fill this out and this forwards to whatever email address you want it to go to so it's a way for people to make an appointment we've got Google Maps here so as you can see the site has a lot of really great features so this is the next one I'm going to show you. Uh, right here, when people go to the home page, of course you got your name, phone number, and right here at the top there's a book and appointment button, which forwards to the contact page of this site. And there's a little room for text, a little about us on the home page, and a list of some services. There's also a donate button here. People can donate via PayPal, debit or credit, if you guys want that. And here's the box that will be featured at the bottom. Got your name, phone number, hours, and social media. And physicians. This is kind of like your about us. There's a little text right here. And then you can feature pictures of each one, some text, and then a book and appointment for each one. But each one of these buttons is go to the same place on the site, which is your contact page. So here's the standard blog laid out that I just showed you on the first one. So this is the services page. It's a great place to include all your services. And uh, I can include more of these boxes or uh, take away just based on whatever services you guys offer. Health plans. So this is kind of showing your clients you know, what health plans you accept. There's a place for questions about your bill. So if you have some of the most common questions about the bill you can answer them here for people to see and then finally the contact page where people can schedule an appointment has your address email phone number fax whatever information you want to include of course a contact box that forwards to your email has your hours and Google Maps showing your location so both these sites have a lot of great features I think will be really beneficial to your business. So let me know what you think about either one of these, and uh, we'll go from there. Thanks.